Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel for today's timeless card message that I recorded on February 28th, 2024. I'll be using the Healing Waters Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. There's a front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks, and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine Guidance. Spirit guides, peace, love, and light. What is my all signs timeless collective energy? Whenever we find this, it is meant for us to receive. Spirit, spirit, spirit. And that one popped up for us, so I'm going to take it. Ooh, I've had this one before. What a beautiful card indeed. Look at this. On call. And I'm uncertain if I'm pronouncing it correctly. E-N-C-A-U-L. Healer, seer, priestess, soul purpose. Look at that beautiful image. How do you resonate with that? Do you resonate with any of the colors here today? Those are signs and synchronicities for you. Okay. And certainly joining me in the background, we've got Robert the Frog here and also Rhubarb the Pig. And if you're noticing that I use Puppet, puppeteering and in some of my readings and that you know these are my friends here with me here today that is a new endeavor a new adventure something I'm trying that's new to see how it goes as I love to follow the breadcrumbs of creativity that are being offered to me so they're joining me here in the background for support moral support okay let's get into this <clears throat> We're gonna get into the booklet message. These are not my words, okay? It's a hard work of Rebecca Campbell, okay? Not only has she spent countless hours, maybe even years collaborating with others to create the beautiful cards that we focus on in the readings, but also the intention that she had for the cards specifically in the booklet message here from her perspective, her perception what she wanted to give to us. And let's get into it. <clears throat> the folklore of many different places, including Iceland, France, Holland, Albania, England, and Germany, has tales about a rare event called an on-call or veiled birth. This occurs when the mother goes into labor, but her water, waters fail to break, and the baby appears in this world still inside the amniotic sac in which it gestated. According to tra tradition, <clears throat> children born and call have second sight and gifts of healing. Scotland, they were seen as good omens and fishermen sought out birth call, the amniotic sac, as an amulet to protect them from drowning. Well, that's interesting. In ancient Egypt, they were believed to be future priests, priestesses of the community. This is the card of the healer, the seer, the wisdom keeper, and the mystic. Perhaps you're already on this path, or perhaps it's something new for you. The healer, the shaman, the medicine person knows that it's through facing their own shadow and taking their own deep healing journey that they can return to guide others in their healing. The healer is, like all of us, in their own spiral of transformation and healing. Healed isn't a stagnant state. The healer knows there's not, they're not meant to be perfect and whole all the time. Instead, it's because they've journeyed to the deepest, darkest, uncharted oceanic caves and return with an open heart and mind that they're able to hold space for another. Okay. This card is an acknowledgement of your role in the world and the deep work you've been doing on your own healing journey. And I believe me, friends, I wanted to get through that because I am getting intuitive downloads and I'm trying to read so I can get through it first before I bring that forward. Your soul inquiry. How can you answer the call of your soul in the fullest expression today? 
So what was coming through while I was reading that is really <clears throat> messages about use your life experience to help others. And specifically, narcissistic abuse did come up, okay? So maybe you or somebody you know has been a victim of narcissism, narcissistic abuse and that, and has recovered, has gone through the journey of that experience, has come out successful on the other side. You're being encouraged to use that experience, okay, to help others in whatever way you're called to do that, whether that's writing a book about your experience and marketing that to others that are currently in relationships of, that include narcissistic abuse, or maybe you're gonna start a blog, or maybe you're going to do something else on a social media platform, maybe even YouTube, okay, and write videos about your experience, all right? And that is the one that is particularly coming through as a channeled message. But in general, the channeled message is also saying, use your experience and whatever that is for you as your human experience that you've climbed the mountain and you made it to the top and you conquered it, your success, but it was a hard, it was a hard climb, all right? There's a lot of trials and tribulations along the way, difficulties in that. But use that experience to help others, okay? Because you were brought through it for that reason, all right? Sometimes we, and certainly in the heat of it, in the thick of it, when it's really tough and hard and difficult and we just want to give up and we just want to quit and we ask God, why is this happening? We forget to remember that it's happening for you. It's leading you forward. It's giving you signs and synchronicities and experience that's going to lead you to the purpose that you came here for the planet, okay? When you came here on the planet, this was part of your purpose, your divine mission, what you signed up for, okay? You had to go through all that difficulty so that you could step into your power, you can step into your leadership abilities and help others through it the same way, okay? Very powerful. And all of us have divine intelligence through our intuition. We are all divine beings, all right, with everlasting energy, okay? And if you can approach your life in a way of, this is all happening for me, it's preparing me for what I asked for. It's preparing me for my next stage in life, my new chapter. Then you'll understand. Then you'll understand why you had to be led through it, okay? So whenever you face some kind of hardship, remember it's happening for you because it's leading you to if, whether that's just to gain the knowledge of learning the lessons or taking on a responsibility to step into the power and help others through the same type of predicament, okay? Wow. If this speaks to you in any way, if this is really like you're sitting there thinking, this is my personal reading. Oh my gosh, well, then this is your sign in synchronicity to take action today, okay? Tomorrow's not promised. Yesterday's done and over, right? Your magic space to create is now. The promised time is now, the present, okay? So get out a piece of paper even yet and write down a plan. Write down the experiences that you've gone through. How does it feel? Really feel it. Really create it, all right? Get a plan in place. And what type of medium or what kind of way speaks to you, okay? So that you can help others along this difficult journey. Because really, everyone, all we're really doing is walking each other home, okay? You're being asked to step into your power today and use that difficult lifetime experience that you've had 
and transmute it into positivity and helping others. Okay. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much for coming back to me. The way that you do, I appreciate you. <clears throat> Put your best foot forward, everyone. Be the best human you can be. And come back again and join me for yet another collective energy message. Bye-bye. <laughs>